Good morning, students. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that's very special. Something that my dad actually collects. Hmm, what do you think that could be? If you guessed rocks, <laughs> you are correct. We're gonna talk about rocks. There are three kinds of rocks and we're gonna talk about each of them in today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot and I hope that you look at rocks a little bit differently after this. Okay, here we go. Types of rocks. There's three of them and we're gonna talk about them today. But first off, what are rocks? Rocks are naturally occurring mixtures of one or more minerals or organic matter. Rocks are classified based on how they were formed, their texture, and their composition. Rocks complete the rock cycle as they change over time. The first one we're going to talk about is igneous rocks. Igneous rocks start as magma. There are two types of igneous rocks. Felsic, which is light colored rocks, and mafic, which is dark colored igneous rock. Felsic igneous rocks look like granite and rhyolite and dacite. They look pretty cool. Mafic igneous rocks look like gabbro and basalt and obsidian. You might have seen that in Minecraft. Igneous rocks can be intrusive, meaning that the rocks are form, formed from cooled magma. Rocks cool very slowly, very, therefore they have large crystals. Or they can be extrusive, rocks that are from cooled lava above ground. Rocks cool quickly, therefore they form small crystals. Intrusive and extrusive. So this is kind of what that looks like. Extrusive in igneous rocks cool quickly and as a result these rocks are fine grained or has lack of crystal growth. They look like this. Intrusive igneous rocks are formed from magma that cools slowly and as a result these rocks are coarse and grained, which looks like this. Hmm, that's pretty cool. The second type of rocks we're talking about is sedimentary rock. They are formed by weathering, erosion, and deposition. Let me show you how this works. Sedimentary rock. First off, erosion. Sediments are moved from one place to another. Sediments are then deposited in layers. The oldest layers are on the bottom, of course. The layers of sediment become compacted and cemented together, forming sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is formed at or near the surface of the earth. Strata are the layers of the rock. You can see it on the picture in the right, the different layers of the rocks. Pretty cool. Stratification is what we call the process in which sedimentary rocks become arranged in these layers. Plastic is a category of sedimentary rocks made of rock fragments cemented together with calcite or quartz. The spaces between larger rocks, like you can see in the picture, are filled with smaller particles or minerals that cement or binds the rock together. That's pretty cool too. Metamorphic rock is formed when igneous, sedimentary, or other metamorphic rocks are heated and squished. I don't know if that's a word, but it's when they are heated and squished, forming a new type of rock. Our third type of rock, metamorphic rock. These changes all occur because of temperature and pressure being squished. And this takes place deep inside the earth. Contact metamorphism creates rocks as it is heated by nearby magma. The increase in temperature changes the composition of the rock and minerals. They are changed into new minerals, new rocks. Hornfuls is a metamorphic rock produced by contact metamorphism. There's also a metamorphic rock called regional metamorphism. 
large pieces of rock under the Earth's surface collide. Temperature and pressure change the rock into slate, gneiss, magmatite, and other metamorphic rock. That's cool. Metamorphic rock can be foliated or non-foliated. Foliated metamorphic rock contains aligned grains of flat minerals, like in this metamorphic rock, nice. Metamorphic rock can also be non-foliated. It is not arranged in planes or bands, like marble. Okay, now let's go through the rock cycle. Igneous rock, metamorphic rock, and sedimentary rock. First off, when magma cools, it forms igneous rock. When igneous rock melts, it forms magma. When igneous rock goes through weathering and erosion, sediments, those rocks are broken into smaller particles that we call sediments. If igneous rocks go under heat, a change in temperature and pressure, it's squished, it, be, it can become metamorphic rock. If metamorphic rock melts, it becomes magma again. Are you following this rock cycle? I think I am. This is cool. When metamorphic rock goes through weathering and erosion, the breaking of rock and the movement of rocks, it turns into smaller rocks, sediments. When sedimentary rock goes under a change in temperature or pressure, it becomes metamorphic rock. When sedimentary rock undergoes weathering and erosion, it breaks, forming sediments. When sediments are compacted, cementation occurs and it forms sedimentary rock. So let's take some advice from a rock. Oh no, not that rock this rock <laughs> he says try your hardest stay grounded start each day with a clean slate keep still be well rounded live in balance and never take life for granted so we learned a lot about rocks today little ones and big ones <laughs> uh, we learned that there are three different kinds of rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rock and we learned a lot more than just that i hope that when you go outside today and you look at these things on the ground that they look a little bit different with all the new knowledge that you have about rocks <laughs> until next time bye